Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about church acoustics. We keep a lot of data because we, we talk to a lot of people, we get a lot of room for them, so we have some data. So I want to pass on a summary of some of the data that we've, we've learned with churches. So we've done over 200 room forms and the associated calls that go with them. And we found three main things that go on in churches. There's no budget, there's no space to treat, and there's no idea of how to proceed. So these three things together, I mean, really add up to a lot of frustration for, for the elders of the church and the congregational members, and, and I get all that. It's very, very frustrating when you've got these big rooms <clears throat> with big problems and no budget, and there's a lot of ornamentation on the walls, and you don't know what to do. So it's, it's, it's a tough deal. It really is for the churches, okay? So let's look at a church as a business. And what is the product? Well, the product really voice and music. We have the spoken word, and that's the message from the church leader. And then we have the musical reinforcement, if you will, of the spoken word. So they both go together. So we have voice and music, just like we have in our critical listening rooms. We just have it on a much bigger scale. Churches are very big, most of these rooms, okay? Uh, we're doing a synagogue in New York right now, 30-foot ceilings. So you can imagine uh, the issues that we're having there. And of course, no place to put anything. Can't put it there, Dennis. Can't put it there. Okay. Then we can't treat it. So we have to be careful. What's our enemies? Reverberation. How long a sound stays around in the room after it's spoken or played. Speech intelligibility. They go hand in hand. Speech intelligibility is how many words in each sentence you can clearly understand. Well, first you have to hear it, and then you understand. And, you know, we, look, we like to 80, 90 percent number. That means eight out of every ten words in a sentence you can hear and understand. Nine out of ten words you can hear and understand, okay? So how do we get this kind of uh, resolution? How do we get this kind of success, if you will? Well, you've got to treat large surface areas. You've got to treat a lot of space. And with no budget, and a lot of times no place to put the treatment, and no idea how to proceed, it's a, it's a tough deal, okay? A lot of people think the stage area today is very popular to have a band. Okay, I get it. That's cool. But the problem with the band is a different kind of energy than we're having in the room. You know, the congregation members, they're singing. So they're in a, a middle frequency range. The band, they're bass, drums, you know, they're... They're a band, so they got low frequency issues. So there's a lot of confusion. Well, what we do in the church, we got to do for the band. What we do for the band, we got to do in the church without realizing that we got to address the energy in that area of the room first, okay? So mids and highs, obviously, in the church. So what we've done, we've come up with a program for churches and schools. I know it's tough. I know budgets are tough. So we have a program. Because we have to do design first. Always got to do design first. Design gives us the roadmap. Tells us how much square footage we need. It tells us on what surface we're going to put it. And, and uh, what we're going to use in terms of treatment. Remember the acronym? TAP. Type. Amount. And position. So we're going to look at all of those variables before we do one thing. Okay. And then we're going to get a cost to all of that. So we have a program where we will do the design work for you at no charge for churches and schools. Okay, we won't, we won't charge you for that. And then we'll sell you our product, our technology, at a reduced price, a percentage over cost, 10, 15% over cost. I'm running a business. I have to make a little bit of money to pay my people and keep the company going. But we're going to work with churches and schools here to help you out because I know Budget space and, and not knowing what to do can be awful frustrating. And you try. I'll tell you a story that just is heartbreaking. I talked to an elder of the church uh, the other day, a large church, about half the size of Notre Dame. Huge Catholic church. They have four PA systems in the last 10 years at a cost of over one million dollars and they were changing PAs to compensate for room acoustics and you can't do it 
it's the room only sees energy. Doesn't matter the radiation pattern of the speakers or none of that stuff. It sees energy. So they're treating the room by changing the energy delivery system into the room, but the room only sees energy. So they spent over a million dollars in 10 years on four PA systems, and guess what? They're back to their original PA system, which are really skinny, 10 foot high Bose towers. And they had suspended systems hung from the ceiling, big horns, all tech lancing horns and everything. But here's the issue. They were running almost six second reverberation times. And you can't fix that with a PA. But see, they didn't know. Now this church had budget and had space. And the speaker manufacturing companies just simply took advantage of their ignorance. That's the bottom line here. Because four systems in 10 years, a million dollars, if they just spent 10% of that million dollars on treatment, they could have kept their original system, lowered the reverberation times in the church, and had $900,000 to do something else with. So ignorance is not bliss in acoustics. It'll kill you. It'll waste your budget. It'll drain your bank account, and you won't get the desired result. So speech intelligibility and also music intelligibility we want in a church because we have the spoken word and then we reinforce the spoken word with the musical word. So look into our program. We'll help you out. We won't charge you for the design. We'll get you the roadmap. A lot of times congregations have members that are willing to contribute their labor, have a wood shop. We can sell you the raw materials. You can build the product. You can do the installation following our guidelines and design. So it's a nice marriage, I think, of, of trying to solve, you know, no budget, no space, and no idea that we, that we see constantly in churches. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.